Positions and user groups may be defined in the Perfect App Settings dashboard and can be beneficial in several ways. An individual user within your account can occupy a position and multiple users can occupy user groups. Within the app design process, and in particular the workflow notifications, you can choose to send a message to a position or user group within your account rather than to an individual. The advantage of this method is that if the individuals occupying the position or group change jobs, all you need to do is change the members of the position or group. You don't have to worry about changing any logic in your different apps. Furthermore, you can assign access permissions to modify or use apps to specific users, positions or groups at the system level. In the settings dashboard, new positions or user groups are created with a couple of clicks. Start by entering the position or group details, including any comments if required. In the case of positions, choose the user that you want to occupy the position. Note that you can choose from any user already set up in your system, including limited license users. Set up a user group in the same way, with the main difference being that you can add more than one user to a user group. User groups can be beneficial if you want to send app notifications to a group of people. A little tip for you. If you are unsure if you need a position with a single user or a group with multiple users, then go for a group. A user group can have a single user, which would effectively be the same as a position, but with the advantage of being able to add more users later. Please also be aware that if you choose to synchronize your Perfect App system with your LDAP system, such as Active Directory, then positions and user groups can be created and populated automatically as part of the process. That's not covered in the scope of this tutorial.